Hello there Brick Fanatics, problem solved. We have a viable, relatively consistent system for working out what is inside these little cardboard boxes. I say relatively consistent because there is one big problem that's going to get in your way. I have been scouring a series of the shops around near where I live to get a complete set of these little beauties and even though none of these are open yet I am fairly certain that I have the full set. Minus one minifigure which I could not anywhere find for the life of me. That's just the way things roll sometimes. You know what that means, it's time for an unboxing video, but unlike most YouTube unboxing videos, I am not going to pretend to have no clue what is inside these boxes. I know exactly what I've got here and I'm very happy to open them up. I'm going to be double checking as I go using the Brick Search app, which is, oh, Brick Search, there we go. It is the absolute best way of doing this. So in case you don't know, a little while ago the LEGO group moved from the traditional little foil bags for their collectible minifigures to these cardboard boxes instead, which proved to be a bit annoying for actual LEGO fans who wanted to collect these because there was no way of feeling a cardboard box to figure out what LEGO bricks were inside. The LEGO group did respond to this negative feedback from consumers, but they responded by saying, mm -hmm. Thankfully though, with series 25 of the collectible minifigures, some of them have an identifying mark on the outside of the packaging. Not all of them, though, and this is the big thing that you're going to need to bear in mind. So on the box here, we've got this QR code. Do you see there? That's a nice big one. If you see the older boxes, the ones from the Marvel Series 2, they've got a smaller QR code. And these ones are also on some of the yellow Series 25 boxes. Do not buy them if they've got that smaller code, because you cannot tell what's inside them, unless you just want a surprise. Thankfully, the larger QR codes can be read by QR code readers, which will tell you exactly what is inside each of these boxes, provided that you go about it the right way. So the way you want to be doing this is you want to use the Brick Search app. Here it is. And if I at the bottom here, just tap the barcode reader and then I scan the barcode, it tells me that this one's got a harpy in it. It's just that easy. This works for all of these minifigures, so long as you check the ones with the large barcode. If it's got a small barcode, it's not going to work, but these, it works on all of them. It's fantastic. It's so easy. It's, in fact, easier than doing it the old feel way, because you know what's inside it. Brick Search will just tell you. The only other thing you've got to worry about is uh, one of the shops that I got some of these from. I had to go to multiple shops in order to get the full set, minus the one that I just couldn't find. Uh, and in the bookshop that I went to, which is a popular chain of bookshops in the United Kingdom, they'd stuck little price tags over the exact barcode, the little QR code that I needed. And so I had to peel them all back and apologize to the woman at the counter. This was also a shop where the minifigures were not left unattended. They were behind the counter. You had to ask specifically for them. I've been in there before and had to ask so I can feel them and they give you the side eye. They're like, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm watching you. Uh, and so at least this time, just scanning a QR code, I felt a little bit less like a fool, just, you know, squeezing these little bags. Regardless, peeling off the barcode uh, and sticking it on the desk and forgetting about it and leaving it there forever, I can now go through all of these minifigures and find out what is inside each one of these. I'm not going to mention which one I don't have here to add a little bit of mystery and suspense to the video. Will I be opening up your favourite minifigure from this series? Let's find out. Alright, here we go. First one I'm going to open. Let's just do this scanning. I've got a Vampire Knight. Oh, that's a good place to start. Oh, this is a good one. Right, ready? Here we go. And it's a Vampire Knight! And I've dropped its head. A little packet here for the cape. This one is going to be one of those ones that, oh, oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Look at the retro charm. Oh, I love it. Clear favorite one of these for a lot of people. Um, I have a few that I'm more interested in myself, but I, I got to say just that, oh, the, the, the wonderful bat decal, the old school shield. Look at that. Oh, it's so exciting. And I love the twist on it that it is actually a vampire. <laughs> which is just so much fun. I definitely, I gotta say, these are so much better than a lot of the collectible minifigures that we've had recently. Like, I just, I love this particular uh, series. It's really good. And it's an awful lot better than the Marvel ones, uh, I have to say. Maybe that's just because I ended up only with Hawkeye and Echo. And maybe it's because I didn't want to have to invest a lot of money in those because I couldn't figure out what was inside the boxes and I didn't want to buy blind. Look at that. Look at him. Isn't he great? Oh, what a brilliant minifigure. Oh, we're starting strong here. That's special. 
So as said, I had to go to several different shops in order to find all of these. The last shop that I went to was a big chain superstore, like a toy superstore in the United Kingdom, which I'm not going to name specifically. I am just going to say that I hate them, but sometimes they've got the Lego and nobody else has them. Uh, and there was a woman there who was doing exactly the same thing as me. And she had her phone out and she was going to scan all of these QR codes. It really got me nostalgic for the heady days of this time last year, when we could all get together and feel bags and pass them back and forth. Oh, I found what you're looking for. Oh, I found what you're looking for. And, you know, just trade like that. It's good to have that back because I do feel like that, that sense of camaraderie is very important for the LEGO community. And of course she had like a little piece of paper that she was folding out where she'd written all of the uh, all of the QR codes on and I said no no hang on hang on brick search app just download this app here let me show you how it works and in two seconds I'd shown her and she was like oh brilliant and so she was um, also using the brick search app as well because it just makes life so much easier. This is just brilliant. Let's do it again ready. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Harpy there we go. I think I picked this one up a second ago. Let's get in there. Ah, uh, yeah. That's uh, a harpy, all right. Let's um, improve that to you, in case you were wondering. There we go. There's a little harpy head. Oh, yes. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, lovely. Yeah, these. this is a really good series of minifigures, i got to say. And it might just be that I'm enthusiastic about actually being able to tell which one is which. But it might just be that these are really cool. Oh, got a sticker. Peel that off. All right, you ready? Here it comes. Beep, 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 beep. It is. Oh, wow. I'm going from strength to strength here. Yes, 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 yes. Here's a goat. Here's a little goat. Oh, wonderful. Oh, fantastic. So good to have the goat back. The greatest of all time. <laughs> Important and beloved specifically because we couldn't get it anywhere. There we are. Ha ha. Ha ha ha, proof that every now and then the Lego group does actually give us what we want. The goat has returned. Let's see what we got now. That's... Right, this was one thing I needed to point out. If the QR code reader scans the barcode instead, it'll just give you a generic uh, collect more minifigures thing rather than the full thing. So I'm going to cover that with my thumb. And now this should. There we go. Oh, Train Kid! Oh, I love Train Kid! <laughs> Having so much fun. Train Kid, there he is. Oh, look at this. In case you were in any doubt, these are coming out exactly as scanned. Wonderful little spinny wheels there. I love a spinny wheel. I really love this one in particular because of that additional, you know, continued commitment to diversity and the fact that he has an eye patch over one eye which is something that uh, I genuinely appreciate. Love the use of the uh, News Kid hat there, like the Newsies hat in a different color for the train driver uh, aesthetic. That's really neat. And not one, but two of these. Oh yeah. Duplicate elements in these are always so much fun. I do feel like some of these are kind of more generous than others. This this is always the way. This is not a specific thing for the Series 25. Um, but in terms of additional parts, in terms of accessories, like you've got one there that's got the goat. You've got this one with the lovely train. Uh, we'll get some a little bit later that are a bit more bare bones by comparison. But eh, I'm not going to complain too much. There we are. Train kid. <laughs> scanning, 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 scanning. And here we have, oh, barbarian, fierce barbarian. Yes. Very by the power of Grey Skull. Obviously, putting her with her war paint on rather than the face on the other side, which doesn't have that, because why would you not wear war paint if that is an option? Arr, yar, 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 yar. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, and scan. Ooh, sprinter! Sorry, I forgot to open them in front of you. Yes, Sprinter. I think if I have a criticism of these particular prosthetic legs, there have been a few that have come out recently, uh, it's that they don't have a space on the back for studs for them to be able to sit down comfortably. So on Echo here, her prosthetic leg has a little stud hole, and then these blades do not. And that just means that when this one tries to sit down, it can only sit if there's just one strip of studs rather than, for example, uh, a chair which would have um, four little stud holes instead. Regardless though, that one is nice. 
do like that as well. And I've got an extra medal, and I know who I'm giving the extra medal to. Put that on the, um... Dee -dee. Right, let's check this one. Do -do -do. Film Noir Detective. <laughs> this one I really like. Let's see if I can find it in here. Yes, I can. It's a red herring. Matter of fact, there are two red herrings. Like, quite aside from anything else, it's just nice to have an extra red fish. See, I feel like this grayscale approach could have been used uh, for Werewolf by Night in the Marvel collectible minifigures, and yet they didn't. That one was all in colour. And I guess that's because they released a colour version of the special episode uh, as well last year. But I can't imagine wanting to watch that one in colour because it was so good in black and white. And it was actually one of the things I've enjoyed the most from Marvel in recent years, but that's beside the point. That's a nice hat. I do like that hat. It's very tilted downwards. Uh, but hopefully, even so, even though it's clearly designed for this specific purpose, one hopes that it will turn up in other colours uh, in other sets in the future. The plot thickens. Got an extra torso. Are these two completely identical? I'll have to check. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing doesn't actually... Oh, no, there we are. Oh, ooh, hmm, 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 very detailed. All right, I've got part of an extra minifigure there, so I'll have to find a use for this additional torso. I hope that means somebody else doesn't not have a torso. Like, I hope that, that me having an extra one doesn't mean that there's another box somewhere, like the next one along on the production line, that just didn't get a torso, because that would be unfortunate. There we go. I do like that guy. And as said, yeah, some of these are more generous than others, because I've got an extra fish and I've got an extra torso. Right. What's next? Next up we have... Ding, ding, ding. Mushroom Sprite. Oh, I like this one too. Mushroom Sprite. Mushroom Sprite. So somebody said to me that they reckon that this has potential as a head for a, uh, a toad from Super Mario. And I don't see it. Like, yeah, okay, it's similar. But like if they were going to make Mario minifigures, which one hopes that they do eventually make, um, it's not quite the right design for a toad. I would feel like a toad would need a different shape in order to be completely accurate. That said, they've got to be planning something else with this because it's got a little stud hole in the top and this doesn't come with anything to go in that hole. So there must be some other plan for it. I could see it in dreams. I wouldn't be surprised if it's already in dreams somewhere and I just hadn't noticed, but um, as it is, it's a wonderful little minifigure. Brilliant little printed butterfly. In all my time collecting Lego Friends, I've never found like a really nice colourful butterfly in any of the sets that I bought. That one is really pretty. Did you know that blue pigmentation, such as is on this butterfly, is not very commonly occurring in the wild? You don't just get something that's blue. So when an insect, for example, has blue in its wings, it's not actually blue. It's just that it's got folds in the wings that are in such a way that they kind of do an optical illusion, make you think that they're blue. Look it up, it's true. Either way, yep, love that. Absolutely great. Scan, 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 and we get Triceratops, All right? Triceratops, right then. Next up, Pet Groomer. You see that Pet Groomer? And in here we have a little doggo. This is another one that I really like for the inclusivity of it. So in the past we've had minifigures that have had printed hearing aids on the side and this time we've got an actual visible hearing aid as part of the hair piece and I think that's just a genius additional move. It's just great to get different varieties of uh, different types of minifigures that kind of present the same disability or similar disabilities uh, in slightly different ways so that people who want to use minifigures of a variety of different types of bodies all have different options. I mean we're still very much stuck in a world where minifigures only come with one body size with the exception of legs which can be either shorter or longer uh, rather than say other parts of the body uh, but at the same time I can't imagine that they would be able to change that uh, with any degree of ease and do it in a respectful manner. So uh, we'll take what we can get on that front. There we go. I'm turn you, put you over from one side so I can put the doggo on the little stand as well. Ah, uh, yes, that's a good one. Lovely doggo. Always nice to have a different breed of dog in Lego. 
Right, this is the last one that I have today. As said, I've got one that's missing that I just could not find anywhere. I mean, it was probably in a box somewhere, but it had the other smaller barcode on it. So I wasn't going to take a chance because you'd have to buy like dozens of them to find the one right minifigure that you're looking for. That said, this, if I've got it right, is one that I really liked, even though I don't think it's everybody's favorite, but it certainly spoke to me. I looked at it and I thought, yes, I like that. I want that one. So hopefully this is the one that I think it is. Which one is it? Which one is it? Let's have a look. Fitness instructor. Fitness instructor. Nice. Now maybe you're thinking, why is this one one that appeals to you in particular? And I've got to say, I love the graphic design on this one. I love her printed abs. I love the sports bra that she's wearing. I love the tattoo on her arm. I mean, it's just a delightful little piece. Hair is one that we've had before. That's nothing particularly special. Little Vita Rush energy drink. I assume it's an energy drink that she's got there is also very nice. Oh, it would have been nice if this set had come with two of these uh dumbbells weights that she could throw around but no we've only just got the one of those uh, so that she's got another arm spare for this uh, but if i were to get a duplicate of anything i think i would have liked another one of these with the printing on it i feel like we're ending on a high note because i quite enjoy this one i know for a lot of people it's not going to be the most exciting of all of the lego minifigures but it is one that i think is just particularly well made Plot twist, I'm back with the final minifigure from this particular series, courtesy of a shop that I hadn't been to previously that had an almost entirely untouched box of the whole lot. I could have just got all of them right then and there if that had been the first place I went to, but oh, you can never plan these things. Right, one last time, the missing piece of the puzzle, eSports Gamer, and here we go. One pink hair, one... Oh, she's sponsored by Vita Rush. That's that drink that the other woman had. Oh, two pairs of headphones. Yes. Right, I've got three accessories on this one. Do you see what I mean? Like the Triceratops didn't have any accessories, but Esports Gamer has three. How do I even... Oops, I've dropped the trophy. I guess the, the picture just shows her stood next to the trophy because she's got to carry her mouse and keyboard around. I guess I'll just do it like that as well. There we have it. Very cool. There's that. Vita Rush printing on the back. Just as a reminder, the quickest, easiest, simplest way of being able to tell these boxes apart is to use the QR code reader on the Brick Search app. You can find the app on the Google Play Store and on the iOS App Store. It's very, very simple to download. It'll work on a variety of different devices, both Android and Apple. Uh, just, yeah, download it, give it a spin. It should work every single time for you. Make sure that you cover up the barcode and just scan the QR code if you're having an issue with it. It's, this is a game changer, seriously. Suddenly, we can actually figure out what is inside these boxes again, uh, which is all any LEGO fan has wanted. I mean, was this really so hard, the LEGO group? Was it that hard to just put a little code on there? Problem solved. Right, thank you very much for watching. You know all of the calls to action by this point. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure that you go to brickfanatics.com for all of your LEGO needs. Make sure that you sign up to our newsletter. Make sure that you use our QR code, which is on the screen if you're making a LEGO.com purchase or the affiliate link that's in the description because we get a little bit of a kickback whenever you do that. Uh, it just helps to support the work that we do. But yeah, the big focus on this video is the Brick Search app because it will genuinely save you so much time and hassle collecting these minifigures. Thanks for watching.